Hi everyone. All right, so for today's tutorial, I'm basically going to be showing you how we can use Dares 3D in conjunction with Marvelous Designer. And what we're basically going to be doing is we'll start off with a pose model. Uh, actually, we'll start off with a T pose, so which is going to be the default standard pose for our model, and then we'll pose our model and we'll export that out of DAS and take that into Marvelous Designer. And what we're basically going to be doing is, in Marvelous Designer, we'll create a garment on the default T pose um, model, and then I'll show you how we can basically morph between the T pose and the final posed model and you'll see that our garments is basically going to simulate and conform to that posed state. So uh, it's a really cool trick especially if you want your clothing to be in a particular pose uh, that you like that you created from Daz. I'll be showing you how we can conform uh, the garment uh, basically morph that garment onto the posed state. So without further ado let's get started. Right, guys, so you're going to see there's a bunch of stuff over here that you're probably not going to see in your DAS because this is just uh, some items that, are, that I've basically obtained from the DAS 3D store. Uh, but I am using the Genesis 3 female, so you all should have access to this. So I'm just using the Genesis 3 female, and uh, this is basically the standard default T pose which we are going to need uh, for this tutorial. Uh, so when you load in that Genesis 3 female, it will automatically be in this pose. And then from here, you guys are just free to go ahead and start posing your model. Uh, but this is not really going to be a tutorial on posing. Uh, but obviously, you can select different joints over here. And I can left click and move this arm around or move this joint around. So you guys can play around with that. But um, this isn't really aimed at beginners. If you're watching this tutorial, you'll probably already have some knowledge about DAS 3D. But anyway, I have some poses over here that um, I've obtained from the store that I really like. So I'm just going to use a one of these poses over here. So let's see, I'll go with the pensive B and I'll leave my limits on. All right, guys. So this is what I'm basically going to be doing. I'm going into scene and I'm going to make sure that um, if you don't... Well, you probably won't have all of this open, right? Because there's, you'll see there's like subgroups within these, these layers over here. So what I want to do is I want to right click on Genesis 3 female, go to expand and expand all, right? So what we're basically doing here is we're selecting all of the, these bone joints, right? Because this is essential once we export this uh, out of DAS, right? So when we export this out of DAS, uh, we need all of these bone joints and you'll see, you'll see what I mean in a moment. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go to pose and animate. So like I said, um, oh, once I'm on pose and animate, I'm going to make sure I'm on timeline. And then I'm going to drag this uh, yellow pointer to 30. So at frame 30 will be where my uh, posed DAS model is. Once I put it on 30, I'm going to make sure I create a new keyframe. All right. And then once I've still got all the bo bones selected, I'm going to drag this all the way back to zero, go back into the uh, content library, uh, sorry, the action and wardrobes, and into my content library, and just try and find a T pose. So you can see over here in this pack, there's already, I can literally reset it to the standard T pose, but I know somewhere in these poses here, Daz actually does come with the standard T pose that you guys can reset it to. So I'm going to double click on this. All right, so we've got our T pose. I'm going to go back to pose and animate. And then it's still on zero. I'm going to make sure I uh, place a keyframe over here. So now if I, if I actually play this animation, I'm going to go to animate light and click on play. You'll see that I, didn't, I actually didn't have to click on animate light. I could have just dragged on the timeline. But you can see over here, it's basically animating from the standard T pose to our posed uh, model. So this is really important because in Marvelous Designer, we're going to be creating our garments on the T-Pose because this is symmetrical and it's a lot easier uh, for creating our garments. And then once we've created our garment, we're basically, we're basically going to simulate our garments onto this posed state uh, and everything is going to conform to the shape. So once you guys have done this and you've got so all of your bones selected in your scene and you've gone ahead into pose and animate and you on frame 30 you've placed the posed one and on frame zero, uh, frame zero you've uh, placed the T pose. 
what you want to do is you want to go to file export and I'm just gonna find a folder on my desktop quickly I've created an animated folder over here you want to make sure that you're exporting this as a collada collada uh, file and I'm just gonna say female toot one then click on save and uh, this is where I was actually getting confused in the beginning because I never saw this but you want to make sure you go and show individual settings and over here you can see animations actually not selected so you want to make sure you select all three of these include transformations and morphs and that's basically going to export everything so it'll export our model it'll export these textures and it's going to export the this animation this morph state from the t-pose to the posed state that we've created here so just make sure that's all ticked and then click on accept and let that export and then we will jump into Marvelous Designer and I'll show you guys how we can use DAS in conjunction with Marvelous Designer for conforming garments onto a posed state from a typo state alright alright guys so once you open up Marvelous Designer I'm just gonna make sure I close these windows and uh, you'll probably have this default Marvelous Designer avatar here with this garment. You just want to make sure you go to Avatar, clear all avatars, and then go to File and New. And that's basically going to give you a fresh scene. So what we, what we want to do now is go to File, Import, Collada, and then go and find that Collada file that you exported out of DAS. And uh, just basically import it into Marvelous Designer. So I've got mine over here, that .dae file. I'll click on Open and load as avatar. Click on OK. So just going to take a little bit of time to import this because it's importing that uh, animation or that morph state from the from the T pose to the posed uh, state of the model. It's just going to import everything, and then you'll see over here. Um, now this clothing that was applied on here from Daz looks really really messed up in Marvelous Designer, and I still can't figure can't figure out what's causing this uh, but I just basically put this clothing on here as a placeholder so that my video doesn't get flagged for nudity so we're not really focusing on this for now uh, but if you import and see this or if anyone knows how to troubleshoot this you know importing uh, Daz clothing into Marvelous Designer uh, that would be really helpful but anyway uh, that's not the point of this tutorial uh, you'll see that uh, we in simulation if I go to uh, animation right it'll say simulation quality change to complete for high quality animation you can see over here in the timeline we have that exact same animation from Daz and if I click on play it will animate between the T pose and our post state right that's exactly what we created in Daz and we've got it in Marvelous Designer so what that's going to allow us to do as I've said in the beginning of this uh, tutorial we'll create a garment in the T pose and then we'll click on this icon here, this record, and it's basically going to simulate and conform that garment onto this posed state. So let's do that quickly. Let's go back into simulation and create just a very, very simple garment. So I'll just uh, drag a, a, let's say a, a square onto the section, and then uh, let's see, maybe we'll create an internal rectangle. I'm actually going to make sure that I click on this just so it simulates it back into the scene and uh, let's take this internal rectangle and let's maybe add another point over here and let's move that point up okay and over here I think I'm just going to delete this point just so I get basically like a diamond shape <clears throat> alright just a quick quick garment and you can see over here I went to internal rectangle and this is going to allow me to punch a hole into this garment so now if I select the shape you can see over there the yellow is indicated that it's, that it's selected and I right click and I go to convert to hole it basically cre uh, creates a hole in our garment and I can move this hole around as you can see over there and now in this scene I basically just want to select this and rotate it and just place it above our model over here as you can see I'm creating the garment in the TPO state that's very important guys because uh, again everything is symmetrical it just makes the whole process a lot easier 
and if I feel like this is all right, I can go ahead and click on simulate and the garment will simulate on our model. Uh, now obviously, we're not going really in depth with creating garments, but I just want to show you guys how this works. So let's say you've created a garment now with the T-Pose and we want to simulate this into that pose state. All we have to do is go back into animation and like I said, we'll click on this record button and as soon as I click on that, it automatically, you can see it animates the garment into that post state. So there we go. And now everything conforms to that post state and this can really, really come in handy uh, if you've created some gar uh, garments and you want it in a particular post state like this. Now we can obviously go back to simulation and click on the simulation over here. And we can continue playing around with this. But as you can see, guys, we had it in the T-Pose. And now we've got that exact same garment in a post state. So obviously, it's still going to require some work. You're going to have to come back here, uh, pull some of these, like some of the fabric over here, uh, and adjust it until you're happy. Uh, but yeah, that's basically how you conform garments to a post state, guys. And I hope you've learned something useful from this. And as always, thank you for watching and stay tuned for some more tutorials. Alright, goodbye.